That's right. You know what time it is. Time for the Wayne Kears to come back once again. Let's get to it. Right into the fucking fight. Get in the van, losers. We're going winning. I, obviously, Stoff doesn't join because I said we're winning. I thought that was pretty obvious. But just in case, what do we got? Horrible horses. Beat them, horrible horses. Fuck you, random guy. Ezio will carry the team. That's right, he will. I've been waiting for this match. I I don't even really know who these fuckers are. I'm going to just throw that out there. But here we are. Round 16, best of three. Horrible horses versus the Wayne Kears. Fan phase. They appear to be a fan of Ninja and Knight. Banning Priestess. That's an interesting ban. Uh, I will ban your knight. I pick Archer. I followed up with Ninja. Grab Berserker. What are you going to do now? Fighter. Ice Mage. All right. I think... I think, hear me out, I go Sniper. I think I do that. Or do I go Swordsman and just let Adios go to town? <laughs> Better yet, I think I'm going to go Shrine Maiden. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So, Caveman on Berserker. Shrine Maiden. Ooh, actually, Ezio's got a hell of a fucking bonus on this person. And add it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. All right, let's go, Wankiers. Ninja taking a lot of early damage, as he does. But get to that back line, and shit's a little different, isn't it? So staying pretty even here. Oof. Ninja doing his work, slowly whittling away that lead for us. Some ultimates coming out. Definitely look like it's... uh going to be pretty devastating for them I think that's going to secure a pretty safe lead for us even once their ultimates come out it's not going to do much to save them let's see here yep we still got ice mage there's ice mage alt fighter alt should be coming out any moment there's the fighter alt but we still have a solid lead although they whittle a little bit back as my team kind of repositions themselves but I think it's going to end up with a solid 10 or 10 14. 10 13? 11 13. Okay. A little more in their favor than I expected. But again, the early lead, we were able to hold on to that. I did really bad this match. You are, you are messing up because you lack confidence. Senpai has noticed you, Ash. Get back in there. Senpai has noticed you. Adios, keep that seat warm. <coughs> ban phase once again. What am I wanting to ban? I'm going to ban your archer, as they all are trained in archer. They ban ninja. Which pretty much so means I'm going to take Sniper because my, my Sniper will be safe. And so they don't have it. They took Berserker and Swordsman. So that'll be a pain in the ass to deal with. But let's see here. Do I... Oof, they got most of my Frontliners picked already. And I don't want just Monk. So, let's see here. This is a tough one. I feel like... Still gonna need some damage. They got good damage. Oh boy, decisions, decisions. Um, Ice Mage works really well against Berserker, so I'll grab her up. And... I need a good solid frontliner, solo frontliner. I think I'll grab up the knight for a solid solo frontline. 
They go magic knight. They're going triple frontliners. Oh my god, this actually might fuck me up. This might fuck me up. It's a very good possibility. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna give the pen to Big Rick, or Big Rick has the pen, so I want that on the uh, on the marksman. I also want her cranking out as much damage as possible. Uh. No, I don't want you with the fucking cockroach. I lied. I'll switch that up because I don't want my fucking knight running away. That is the worst. The cockroach is terrible. But I'm alright with my uh, knight doing that. <laughs> Excuse me. So we're cranking out some solid damage, which uh, they will be lacking. But if they get on my back line, they start doing some damage to it. But luckily, knight's there. She's doing alright job so far. Keeping that Berserker shut down with the Ice Mage. That was a good pickup. Good choice right there. Oof, big boom. Uh, that was her ultimate. Didn't really do much of anything. But these ultimates, now they do a lot more. Carving away solid lead still. Looking good. They have some ults that will be coming out soon too. That Ooh, Magic Knight ult wasted. Swordsman ult not wasted. Devastating. But here comes the big fuck. And this is where shit's going to start changing. Oh, and the ult's done already. Okay, we lucked out in that aspect. We do have a solid lead. I do think we're going to be able to hold on to it till the end here. Just because they are lacking in the damage. Wayne Keir is going to win this one. 15 to 11. And they're going to win the set 2-0. Good shit, Wayne Keir's. Once again, just being an absolute devastating team. Go check out management. We got this equipment results. Take a peek, see at that. Not bad. Craft, craft, craft. Boom. Let's come to the team. See some training. Haven't really checked out their training in a bit. Uh, you got some points in swordsman. I think we can drop that off now. Um, want a point in your defense. Want a point in that. Do we have you learn a new champion yet? That's a tough one, isn't it? I think. Hmm. I think we'll just put a point in Berserker and let that slowly build up. Big Rick, what you got going on? Raising that attack still. I'm with it. Although, we could definitely drop this one. Get that swordsman up just a little bit. Ezio. Yo, hard in that archer training, as you should be. But what's the point if you don't have any attack? So we'll get that going. We got Adios over here. Fucking jack of all trade. A little bit of everything. I'm gonna drop that down one just so we can start upping the swordsman a little more. Actually, I think I'm going to up Ice Mage. Good to have a good Ice Mage person. Stoffmeister, learning up that Pyro. We're going to go ahead and drop these both down to one. Let's start getting that attack going up. Maybe you'll stay relevant. Doubt it. You'll probably be off the team soon, you fucking loser. All right, close that, close that. Out of the next match, because I'm ready to fucking fight. Let's do this. Get in the fucking car. We're going. Wink here versus the Elder Elephants. Caveman will carry the team. Beat them all, Wink here. Show me a good match. I'm not sure about the Caveman will carry the team. That's like the most controversial statement. You might. Who knows? Who knows? You might surprise me, Caveman. You are the Berserker. You know, I say that. You are the Berserker, and you do hardcore carry the fucking team pretty often. Banning Ice Mage. Okay. Let me take a peek, see what they like here. They seem to be a fan of Pyro. And I kind of want to go double front line, so I'll ban Pyro. Now we got all the AoEs down. The majority of the AoEs. Oh, they went Berserker. Fuck. This is going downhill for me real quick. All right. 
So we'll grab up swordsman. Um. God, it's so risky to pick up a ninja this early. But I just know. I won't. I'll save the ninja. I'll save the ninja. I'll grab myself a secondary front line. Just in case we get a little cheeky. I'll go monk. That way they can't grab up monk. They go archer. All right, now I definitely want the ninja. Should still work out all right for me. Um, yeah, I got the two front lines. Should be able to compete with their two front line. And then, well, ninja does his thing on archer like he always does. Although he's going to go on Magic Knight first this time, but whatever. We'll take that. We'll take that. Pretty even so far. Oh my god, Ezio with his runaway ability. Fuck. So not good. I, that's It has to go. Like It has to go. I'm not going to say you've cost us matches, but uh, it's came close to it before. Pretty even match here. Um... Got seven or eight to six, but we do need some ultimates. Yep, and say there are some ultimates that have not came out yet. I'm waiting for the big fuck to do his thing, which should be any moment now, unless he already there it is, there it is. Yep. Oh, Ezio, see how the running away did absolutely nothing for us. Such a bad ability, and we're actually gonna pull an L. Unfortunate. We don't get many L's, but, you know, you got to take them when you get them. We got unlucky in this match. You right, caveman. Um, Let's see here. Luck doesn't seem to be on our side. We played so much better, but we lost. Yeah, luck doesn't seem to be on our side. We fucked up on that one. Oh, I didn't switch in, Big Rick. I may pull another L because of that. Oof. That's no buenos. Banning. Step one. Who am I banning? We're going to ban your pyro. Don't want you playing pyro. You're banning monk. I didn't really think it was that much of a deal. We're taking berserker this time. You can fuck right off with that. All right. You're going double front line. So I will grab a ice mage. And just to be a bit of a shit, I mean, Ninja is still wide open. I don't want to pick Ninja. I really want to pick up Shrine Maiden, I think, or Archer. But I might go Shrine Maiden. It does kind of sync well with the Cockroach ability. And they're going triple front line. Again, I think this is a mistake, but we will take this W. Because between the healing and berserker ability, we should be able to stay up alive. And then Ice Mage's AoE and the slowing. It should work out well for us. Now my damage isn't crazy high. But should be able to sustain through theirs because theirs is also very low. But the AoE from the Shrine Maiden is really helping out in this aspect. Ultimate's coming out now. About that time. Oof, my people are going ham, dumping everything on these guys. They're going for that early lead, although it is 10-1 already. But here comes some of their ultimates. They will be devastating. Fighter picks up fucking three kills with his ult. Very, very good. Shrine Maiden's in a bad spot. She's going to go down. Let's see if the Berserker can last long enough for Shrine Maiden to come back and start healing her up. And he can. He can. He's still up. Look at that health bar. Such a crazy mad lad. 15 to 5, wank ears, bringing it back 1 to 1. Moving on to the second match now. I need to remember to bring Rick back in. What do we got to say, team? The opponent sucks so bad that this will be an easy match. Adios. The score difference is not that great. It is not that great to let the. That is a weird sentence. We're not doing that good, bitch. It's 1 to 1. Quit bragging. That's, that's what we're getting at here, Adios. So you just sit the fuck in that chair, because we don't need you. And uh, we're going to go kick some ass. Let's see what they ban. They ban the fighter, which is weird, because they're the one picking fighter. Uh, then I will ban ninja. 
Will you grab me? You're grabbing Pyro. I'm going to go Berserker. And I'm going to go Sniper. Go Monk. All right, so you got Monk, Magic Knight, Pyro. So do I be cheeky? And I think I do be cheeky, and I put Rick on Priestess. All right, he's an Afro main, as we all know. Swap that out there. Keep him on that. And I th think we fuck him up. I think we really do fuck him up with this one. It's hard saying. It's hard saying. Because uh, that dude's going to be taking a lot of damage. But, god damn, look at him just saying sustain right through it all. Yeah, I don't think this will be like the best victory, but I think it will be a victory. So, that Afro alt, goddamn devastating. But they do have some ultimates too that should be coming out any moment. Oof. That Berserker alt, again, just so crazy. I think it is a little overpowered, but... He may be nerfed in a future patch, who knows. Oof, the Pyro combined with the, Mage, or the Magic Knight alt is devastating. We do have a bit of a lead, and uh, we are able to keep our distance so that Pyro's not getting a lot of free damage on us. And I think that it's pretty much still going to be a secured victory from this point out, unless something crazy happens. Which, that is the case. Wink ears win the set 2-1 against the Elder Elephants. Let's go. Now, let me check out the schedule here. Last one, then oh, we got a whole bunch of weeks. Then in the recruitment period, what is this? Is this the end of the the thing? Oh, to be like the first half? I don't, I don't know. Let's go with it. We'll finish this up. Let's fucking go, team. Wait, make sure I got my recruitment peoples all set here. Yeah, yep, yeah, they're good to go. Honestly, I can delete this guy. Start another search. All good. Let's go. Wayne Kears. That last match was a little hairy, but I'm glad we were able to pull out the dub. That was real nice. Wayne Kears versus Giant Gooses. Please win, Giant Gooses. Please win, Giant Gooses. Beat them all, Giant Gooses. All right, at this point, I feel like you guys just want me to lose just because I'm on such a hot streak. You can't stop me that easy, though. The Wayne Kears were unstoppable. Banning. I'm first ban phase. Looks like they like their Shrine Main Night Ninjas. Um, it's always good to start banning the front line. So I'll ban their Knight. They ban the Ice Mage, which is good, because that means I can bust out the Berserker. All right, they went Pyro and Monk. I'm going to go Ninja. And someone else who can keep their distance. Do I go Archer? I think I go Shrine Maiden. I go Shrine Maiden. To kind of help heal up through that Pyro a little bit. Uh, nope, that's exactly how I want everyone. And I feel like this is going to be heavily skewed in our favor. Oof. The only downside to having a Berserker with Ninja is Ninja always gets there first and fucking dies. Ooh, they are getting a bit of a lead on us here. That was mainly because my, I have two people who have to sit in the front line. So, that Pyro is getting a lot of extra damage on it. I should have thought about it. I probably should have went with that Shrine Mate, or, uh... Something besides a ninja and a shrine main. Probably should have went marksman and shrine main. But we'll see if I can still slowly creep back up. We do have 20 seconds left. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Maybe. Ooh, maybe not. Who kn who knows? 11-11. 10 seconds left to go. 13-11. Slowly pulling a little bit of a lead. It's tied up now. It's tied up now. Oh, no, no. 14, 13, 15, 13. Wayne Kears, 16, 13. Out of nowhere. Coming back at the end. Holy fuck. That, that was like a pucker factor of like nine. 
I thought for sure we were losing that one. What do we got to say, team? I think I pretty much so carried this team. Concentrate on team play. No one carried that match. We had a a victory. That's what happened. Bringing in Rick. Sitting out Adios. Let's do this. Purple haired fuck. What are you banning first, guys? Banning sniper. Interesting. Interesting. I will still ban Knight. I'm going Shield Bear. I'm going Berserker. Let's see here. I think I grab up that Shrine Maiden again. And then just wait. Okay, so they grab Ninja. And Pyro. Okay. So, let me think here, let me think here. Do I go, I go Swordsman. I go Swordsman and we just kill their fucking, the rest of their team. Like, yeah, Ninja's gonna mess up my uh, Shrine Maiden. But he ain't gonna touch these other two. And these two will just blow through these other guys. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. Again, I did go two melee into a pyro. And that ninja is doing his thing. He is fucking up my shrine maiden. I think I definitely made a mistake in this one. I probably should have went for maybe a secondary backline to help peel for the shrine maiden. But we'll have to see. But it does look like they are probably going to win this one. But we'll see as this Berserker blasts right through their Shrine or their Shield Bear. Then able to get a small lead, but we'll see if we're able to maintain once again, like I keep saying. Right, yep, they got the lead again. But we're coming back 14 13. And I think Clutch, Clutch, we're going to win. I don't know if we should have won that one. But you know what, motherfuckers? We did. You're in the league's top five teams, and you can now advance to the playoffs. The playoffs is the best of five tournament. <clears throat> Playoff round one. League's fifth-ranked team versus fourth. All right, so I skipped that. I'm going to be in round two. Uh, round... Oh, so I'm just right to the semifinals. Or am I, am I right in the finals? Am I misreading that? Uh, the playoff roster. Yeah, we'll submit that roster. Do some... Oh, okay, specialty training. Here's, here's where I can change. No. It's the other one. It's not specialty training. It's mental training. Ezio. For fuck's sake, we are changing this. Anything but. Uh, prioritize attacking the enemy that has survived the longest. Increases allies' condition by... Oh, that's just saying. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. I'm not sure if it's necessarily the best because they live the longest. It's probably a frontliner. And they're probably survivable. But on the same hand... That could also be a backliner. So I could see it going both ways. We'll have to we'll have to keep uh, that in mind. But it's definitely better than the cockroach. That's for sure. Craft that. Yep, I want to craft that shit. Close. Did I hit the right button? Yeah, craft. There we go. Uh, need to make sure to save my gold. Oh, I got to look at it. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. Pretty, isn't it? Take a peek at the schedule again. See if that kind of... Yeah, I'm right to the finals. So. Right to the finals we shall go. Proceed. Weekly activity. 
Special training. Who wants some special training? Might as well our boy Adios. Or Ezio. Start training. Hell yeah. Oh boy, that's a tiny increase. It's not much, but we'll take it. Right? Okay, yep. Monthly monthly check in. Special training. Ezio. We'll strengthen that attack again. It's cheap. And I don't want to spend too much gold because I need to actually have some gold. Close. Recruitment. Ooh. Alright. I want to recruit this guy. We'll delete this. Start another search on that side. Close that. Proceed. And now it's it. Now's the time. Wayne Kears. Heading to the fucking finals. We'll check the results of the equipment real quick before we go. Just in case. Doubtful, but just in case. Start one more thing. And let's go, team. Versus the horrible horses. Once again. Let's do this. Wayne Kears versus Horrible Horses. Pawn Archer. Go Horrible Horses. They keep... Wow, all this is right over top of each other. See all this space over here you didn't use, game? All right. Pawn's Archer, so keep that in mind. Wow, okay. Yeah, they, they use Archers. I'm just going to ban Archer. <coughs> they get a respect ban. Starting off with the Berserker. They got an Ice Mage and a Knight. Good choices. I think I am going to go Ninja and Shrine Maiden. Tell me if you've heard this story before. All right, they don't have a hell of a lot of damage. They do have the double front line, which is going to be unfortunate for a ninja as he goes in and just gets himself fucking killed. Again, I need to start thinking about that. But I do think we are going to win this one. Obviously, that's why I picked this team. Get in there, Berserker. You're so slow. If Ash wouldn't quit, or not Ash, Adios wouldn't quit feeding, though. All right, I got Berserker alt coming out, and he gets frozen. Oh. Sweet, he unfroze. Then, yeah, they're just going to go through and devastate that team. But let's not get too cocky. They do have ultimates of their own coming out. There is the Knight ult. There's the Ice Mage ultimate. Shriden Maiden all by herself. Getting pulled in by that Magic Knight ult. But unfortunately for them, they uh, use that a little late or the other's too early. However you want to look at it. It is 11 to 10 right now. 12 to 11. But I don't foresee a kill coming. So, Wayne Kears, 1-0. Stand up, Rick. You know what's about to happen. I think I pretty much so carried this team. Good job. Senpai has noticed. Senpai has noticed. Do the usual swap. I don't think it surprises anyone at this point. Now, who are they wanting to ban? They ban Ninja. All right, so I foresee them wanting to use some backliners, but you're not going to use Archer, that's for sure. They're going to pick up a Pyro. Solid choice. Now, I need to keep in mind, I need to keep in mind, Pyro, people, I got to keep them distant, distant from each other. I do got my one frontliner. Do I put Ash on Sniper? I think I do that. I pick Sniper. Uh, 
All right, so they only have the one frontliner. Do I get cheeky and pick up a ghost? Hmm. Do I go run frontliner as well? I think I do. I think I do. I'm going to grab a ghost. Now, he's already going to be going after people with the lowest health. So I'll put you right there just in case Pyro ends up surviving for too long. Then you can start targeting them. Oof. Ghost. Big squishy. Assassin's big squishy in this game. Oof. Does a lot of damage, though. Wow, this is just a fucking kill fest. I do like that ghost ability. He is a melee person and the pyro is doing some damage to him. So I kind of fucked up in that aspect. Ultimate's coming out. Berserker. I need. I wish I had that other ghost guy who uh, regained health after getting a kill. That'd be dope. I think ghost already kind of does that. As you all can tell, I have not used Ghost very much. I'm not sure if that's good or bad how he gets slowed as he goes into that. I think it's kind of good because he just waits out their ult, but I can see that being bad because he's just not around to help out in the same hand. So we do get the victory. I think that was a good pickup, but I maybe should have thought about the melee aspect more. But you know what really fucking matters? The fact that... Wait, oh, it's the best of five. Okay. Okay, I almost got all hyped. With which mentality are we going to play in the next match? Be aggressive. B-E aggressive. Oh, fuck you, caveman. Sit there on your front liner. I put you on fucking Berserker the whole time anyways. All he does is be aggressive, you moody son of a bitch. Title of this video, Caveman's a Whiny Bitch. I'm kidding, caveman. I love you. Whiny bitch. All right, who do I want to ban? I don't know. Maybe Archer. Ninja. All right, so I think we're going to... We doing the same thing here, guys? Is that what everyone's agreeing to? Okay, so you're going Swordsman this time. Um, Just because I'm tired of dealing with it, I'll pick up the Pyro. And... And who else? Isn't that the real mystery? I got a lot of AoE, so maybe I'd be a little cheeky and I grab Monk. Put Rick on Monk. I haven't done the double. Yeah. Do the double front line. With the sustain boys. Should kill swordsmen relatively quickly. And they should be up in their face enough where... Pyro's abilities still, like, actually contribute. Because, again, Pyro's better against two frontliners, which I have. Oof. Maybe they just... Maybe I fucked this one up bad. I'm getting messed up now that I'm looking at it. I'm like, holy shit. Good thing Berserkers can come in and get some fucking kills for me. Stupid amount of kills. Oh, and the Pyro all on their base. Their spawn point. That's going to help. Yeah, I think that those two ultimates right there are going to pretty much so help me not get devastated, but I think I still lose. Oof. Yeah, god damn. There was that grenade. That was that was a lot of damage. Yeah, I think we end up losing this one. Wayne Kier is going to pick up an L. Unfortunate, but, you know, I did a really bad, bad draft. That's all on me. I should have seen that coming. Please ban Swordsman in the next match. Tricky to fight against. It was not the Swordsman. It was the fact that I just, my comp was shit. Although they requested a Swordsman ban. So I think it's like a morale boost if I ban Swordsman. They ban Swordsman. Okay. Alright, so they're going Ninja. So I'm gonna go. Do I go knight? No, I just gotta grab the berserker. That's such a huge bonus. I can't not grab berserker. 
Uh, let's see here. You got ninja. I kind of want to grab a frontliner, but I don't want to leave Pyro open and grab another frontliner because that shit's been getting annoying. Let's see here. Let's see here. I think I just risk it. I think that's what I do. Grab fighter. They grab knight. They went ice mage. So now I think I can be safe with my pyro. Let's see here. I put Rick on Pyro. Got the big bonuses. So hopefully this should work. But we'll see. We'll see. Fighter should help help with the peel. It's not looking like it's working. These guys are coming. They're doing a comeback. Wow, I'm just being out comped like a motherfucker. Fighter ult, devastating. All right, it's six six. Eight seven. This is close. No, Berserker, why did you run right past the Ice Mage? No, that's not who you should have ran past. This is a tough one. Ten ten. Real close. Eleven eleven. I think my pyro is going to die and I'm not going to get a kill in time. Overtime. Overtime. That pyro's going down though. For fuck's sake. It is it is close. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. This is the the most ass whooping wankiers have taken ever. We had this game. How could we lose? You're right. After hearing all the whining, learn to accept the outcome. You're right. You've shown good performance. Yeah, you are right. We had this. I fucked it all up. Again. Again. But here's where Caveman. Caveman's not going to let us take a fucking L. He's not about that life. He's got that huge bonus. Huge bonus. He's like, yo, put me on fucking Berserker. I will get us a W. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick motherfucking Berserker. We're going to get this W. So they're going Sniper. They're going Magic Knight. All right. I'm going to pick up Ninja to farm their Sniper, hopefully. And let's see here. I really don't want Pyro because they only have the one single. But if I leave Pyro open, they'll grab Pyro. But do I risk it? Or do I grab Shrine? I think I grab Shrine Maiden. I think I grab Shrine Maiden. Let's see. Now I feel like I should have grabbed Pyro, but if I don't grab Pyro, maybe they wouldn't have grabbed Shield Bear. Well, let's see. Ninja, do your thing. I need you to kill this motherfucking sniper as much as you possibly can. All right. 2-2. Two, two. All right, all right. Slowly, slowly. All right, tortoise in the hair right here. Tortoise in the hair. We're picking up. There's ninja alt coming out. A shrine maiden alt. That's going to help out a lot. All right. Oh, berserker alt. Yep, get that early kill before they spawn up all the way. Nice, nice. Caveman. Look at this man fucking go. 5-0, and 4-0. Oh, and oh. All right, there's their ultimates coming out too. But I think Wayne Kears will secure this victory. Caveman not having any shit. 8, 2, and 4. Although Ezio pulling in clutch as well. 4, 1, and 9. Big Rick not doing much, but did his best to uh, keep this person down, which I think he did a successful job at. 
Look at that. Wayne Kears coming out on top in a clutch. Clutch. Almost reverse sweep. That shit's crazy. Let's see. Big Rick. Look at this. Everyone loves the Big Rick. Can you achieve a no death game? Let's go bigger than that. Let's go bigger than that. 80 accumulated kills. See it? Yay, look at that. Fucking bringing home the bacon. All right, and let's uh, attend the award ceremony. No, let's attend. Let's attend. We're victors. We'll watch. Not you, Stoff. You didn't do anything. That's right. You sit there on your computer. Now, let's begin the award ceremony of Semi-Pro League Season 2022. First, we have the Champion Team Award. The Semi-Pro League Champion Team is... Wayne Kears, let's go. Congratulations, prize money worth 1,200 gold, and Semi-Pro Gold Mouse will be awarded to the winning team. Shit, Gold Mouse, that's baller. Next, we have the Runner-Up Team Award. The Semi-Pro League Runner-Up is Horrible Horses, put up a hell of a good fight by the way congratulations prize money worth 600 gold and silver semi-pro gaming mouse will be awarded to the runner-up next we have the most kills award the player with the most kills is giant goose's team player effort prize money of 200 gold will be awarded next we have the most assist award if this isn't caveman the player with the most recorded Digital Dolphins team. The player who has recorded the most assists is Digital Dolphins team player, Cold. Prize money worth 200 gold will be awarded. Next up is an introduction to the newly promoted and regulated teams. Teams that have been promoted to the Pro League Division 2 are Wayne Kears and Horrible Horses. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing your great performances on a bigger stage. And these teams have been relegated to the Amateur League. So we moved up. They moved down. Life changes. The teams that have been relegated to the Amateur League are Dangerous Dogs and Angry Anchors. It's unfortunate. Angry Anchors. It's unfortunate, but we hope you'll improve and perform better in the next season, as do we all. We will now end the awards ceremony of Semi-Pro League Season 2022. See you in the next season. Event match noticed. Event matches are back. During this period, five matches, winner takes all, with a special rule will be carried out. Experience points and reward gold awaits winners of event matches. This year's event matches are as follows. Quick jab. Support ban. Quick cast. Attack of all champions decreased by 50 and attack speed doubles. I say quick jab, jab, jab. Ooh, that quick cast. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to do jab, jab because I know Shrine Maiden and, uh, Berserker will be strong, and that's two of my main team. So, close that. You've acquired. Oh, yeah, check that out. Gold money. Yep, I'll submit those. That's my roster. I'll do this real quickly so I don't forget. Do some mental training. I'll do it on Caveman. Will acquire you a second skill. None. See that big caveman's brain structure empty. What? He didn't learn anything. I don't know why I'm surprised. This all seems like it makes perfect fucking sense. Mother Teresa increase recovery by ten percent. Increase movement speed. No, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'll think about that. Like the management equipment. The mouses.
plus one attack, plus one defense, plus one percent attack speed. Mm, I feel like the plus four to just flat plus four to my defense might be better, especially with the comps that I run. Oh, check results. I got to check the results of this real quickly. Start my next craft. Oh, wait. Let's uh bring this all down here. I can do two. I can do two. Craft that. Close that. And thank you, everyone, for joining the Wayne Kears once again. It's been a blast. Have a good day.